Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the issue you might have where you are trying to access a server and you might be experiencing an error that says not enough server storage is available to process this command. So this brief tutorial will show you guys how to hopefully resolve this pretty quickly. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. So just left click on the start button like you normally would and then you want to type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, and the best match that comes up should say regedit. So all you have to do is just right click on this command right here, should be underneath best match, and then you want to left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control window, you want to select yes. You want to run it. Okay, so now that we're in the registry editor, I'd recommend heading over to hkey local machine on the left side, you either left click to expand this folder by clicking on this little arrow or double click on the folder itself, whichever you prefer. So I'm going to need to click on the little arrows for the purpose of this video and I'm going to do that for all of the further steps we're going to go through. So first one again was H key local machine and then you're going to go down to where it says system at the bottom of this list for most people and you want to expand that one as well by clicking on the arrow or double clicking on the folder again. And now I'm going to go down to current controller set. Should be the third one down, or at least for me it's the third one down. So pretty close to the top. And then near the bottom there should be something that says services. Again, I'm going to expand that one as well. And then I'm going to scroll down until I get to LAN man server. So I'm going to scroll down here, right here. So underneath LAN man server, I'm going to expand that folder as well until I get to this parameters folder. And now I'm just going to simply left click on the parameters folder for the moment. So now I'm going to right click in this blank space on the right side. So underneath the other entries here, I'm going to right click and then I'm going to left click on new. And now I'm going to left click on D word 32 bit value. And I'm going to just left click on that. So now we're going to name this new value IRP. Exactly how it appears on my screen IRP stack. S T A C K size S I Z E. So one word should be I R P stack size. Then you want to hit enter to save that name. You want to right click on this D word 32 bit value now that we just created. Left click on modify. Okay, so for the base, you want to set it to decimal right down here. And now for value data, you want to change the 0 to 25. So just get rid of the zero, make sure it says 25 in here. Once you're done doing that, all you have to do is just click on OK to save our changes. You can close out of the registry editor at this point. I'd recommend restarting your computer and then check to see if the issue has been resolved. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.